Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I want to talk to you about a new word that you need to add to your Cricut glossary. It's called kerning. So what is kerning? Kerning is the adjustment of the spacing in the letters of a font. So this refers to the process of grouping letters within a word to join them or put them closely so that they read better. So let's just remind ourselves of what used to happen in the old version of Design Space. So let's say I was using the text option and I wanted to write something. I like the Cricut font Annie Lou. I don't know how to pronounce it actually. Um, just for the demonstration. Um, so if I write hello, that's what it used to happen. So every letters were separated. And if you wanted them to be touching each other, you had to select and you could start by reducing the letter spacing like this, but it would never do a perfect job. So at the end, you still needed to either ungroup or go here to advance and ungroup the letters. And then one by one, link all the letters. So this is a short word. It's not that a problem, but when you have a lot, it would take a long time and I hated doing this. Now in the new design space, what you do is that you click text. Let's go, you click right here. And I want to show you right away that there is now a new option right here. It's called only current fonts, meaning that if this is checked, it will only show you the fonts that are current. So if you're looking for your favorite font and you can't find it, just uncheck the box. You will still have to ungroup two letters and make them close together one by one. So by default, this is only the current fonts. And I must say there are still many, many, many of them. It applies both to the system font or the Cricut fonts. So for me, I'm going to check. I'm going to try to find the same one. So it's Annie Lou. And it's right here. So it is current font. And this time when you write hello, it is all weld together. Isn't that awesome? So let me make it bigger. Now what you're going to have is only one layer that you can still change the letter spacing. So if I go and I make them closer together, make them further apart, you can still do this. So let me put it to zero and you can still ungroup two letters. Let's say that you're not satisfied and that you want the E to be higher or whatever. So you can still do this. Let me undo it and go back to one layer. The only thing I want to show you is that at first I thought that I would need to weld the letters because if you see it, properly. Let me put it pink. We see it better when it's pink. You can see that there's there are little lines here that might make you think that they are not welded. And that is true. But if you hit make it, they are weld together. So you don't need to weld them before cutting them. They will automatically be in one word. The thing is that if I still want to add a word or whatever, hello you, like this, I can still do it because this is still text. But if I select it and I weld them, well, I cannot double click on them. I cannot change it. I cannot correct a mistake. I cannot do anything because it's not a word anymore. It's a shape. So that's the thing that is confusing, but fun at the same time. So if I leave it as text, you see here it's written text. I can still double click on it. It is a bit confusing because you think they are not welded, but once you hit make it, you will see they are welded for real. So just to recap, uh, let's remind you that not all fonts have the ability to be kern. So you really need to come here and check only current fonts, or if you can't find them, you uncheck the box. And of course, uh, this is an option that is for now only available in the desktop version of Design Space. Hopefully Cricut will go a little bit further and put it also in the app. So last weekend, I started a project that I would have never tackled without kerning, seriously. I'm not a patient girl, and this was the most painful thing to do, to have to ungroup the letters and join all the letters together. I mean, 
it was painful for me. It was really too long. I would do it in another software for sure. But now I was able to do this all in design space. So I hope you enjoyed this new feature and will be as enthusiastic as I am to make all these projects. So thanks for being there. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.